Welcome everyone. You're trying to use the visual intelligence and it's just not working. So what's meant to happen is after you take a screenshot, you have this search and ask option. However, on my iPhone to the left, those options are just not showing up. Another thing as well is visual intelligence can be accessed by long pressing the camera control button. But my iPhone in the middle does not have this camera control button. So there's a lot that can go wrong with visual intelligence. I'm gonna cover every single issue and how to fix all of them. By the end, visual intelligence will be up and running. Please be patient as there's a ton that can go wrong and it's gonna take a while to cover everything. So the first issue in question is you don't have the camera control button. So on iPhone 16 series and newer, you can just long press this button. It takes you here and you can just tap on search or ask. So if you wanna get the visual intelligence right here without camera control, Apple has alternate ways you can use. So what you're gonna do is from your home screen, just swipe down from the far right hand side of the screen. And I'm gonna do this on both iPhones. And you can see my iPhone on the right has the visual intelligence button. This is the new button. And if we try and tap on this, it should load. Now there's another error, I'll cover that in a bit. But if you don't have that button, we can see if we can turn it on. So to do that, just tap the plus in the control center at the top left. So let's just tap the plus and then look for add a control. So we tap on this one. And then once you've done this, we're looking for the Apple intelligence option. So you see Apple intelligence and Siri, and we have visual intelligence. We just tap on this one and that's gonna add it to my control sensor. Now, if you don't see the Apple intelligence and Siri option, then we might need to turn on the Apple intelligence feature in our settings. So to do that, we're just gonna open our settings app and we're just looking for the Apple intelligence and Siri option. Now, if you just see the Siri option, what that means is unfortunately, your iPhone does not support the Apple intelligence and it won't support visual intelligence either. So if I tap on Siri here, this is the regular Siri. If we see Apple intelligence in Siri, then we can proceed. If you have old iPhone without Apple intelligence, there used to be workarounds to turn it on, but Apple have patched them. It's just impossible these days. And unfortunately, the only way to get visual intelligence is to upgrade from iPhone 11, 12, 13, 14 into the 15 Pro series and newer. If we have Apple intelligence in Siri and it's not on, we want to turn this one off. So let's try and turn this one on. But sometimes another issue happens. So it didn't happen right there. But if it gives you an error or you don't have an on toggle, then check your language right here. So mine is English United Kingdom. Remember this one. And then if I go into general and I go into language and region, you can see mine's the same. Now, if it's not the same, so for whatever reason, your region is set to maybe Uzbekistan, right? So if I set to Uzbekistan, but in Siri, it's a different country, then Apple intelligence won't work. So you see region Uzbekistan, and if I go into Apple intelligence, they're not gonna let me turn it on. So make sure your language here, English United Kingdom, is the same as the region set in your iPhone. So I'm gonna set this one back. There we go. And then I'm good to go. If your language and region are set the exact same and it's still not working, that means the country you live in doesn't have Apple intelligence. So you just wanna change your region to United States or United Kingdom on here and inside of Siri. And then we can turn this one on and we'll be good to go. However, once you turn this on for the first time, you can see Apple intelligence is still downloading files. That means that you're gonna have to wait for this to download that might take a couple of hours for the very first time. It might take five minutes. It depends on the internet speed. And then once that's done, you can either use this button here to go in and use visual intelligence, or after taking a screenshot, if you tap on the preview, you have the search and you'll have the ask chat GPT options. So this is very confusing just because of how Apple's done it. I hope the confusion has been removed with this tutorial. 
as YouTube doesn't promote my videos like they used to, I have to ask you all for this. It would really mean the world to me if you found this video useful, that you hit the thumbs up button down below and just left a comment saying, hey, this video helped me out. Or if it didn't help you out, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. I'll try and get back to you. Have a nice rest of your day. Bye-bye.